Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well. Let me ask you a question and think about this. Does it matter what order you do things in? Does it matter how things are done, the decisions you make, the things you do in your life? Does that really matter or does it, you know, just, is it okay to get close to it? When I do real estate conferences, I always like to ask this question. What's the first thing you do when you build a house? And 99% of the people immediately think and or say foundation because we're pre-programmed. If you're in real estate and you're thinking about houses, that's kind of the first thing that pops into your mind is, oh, well, you, you got to do the foundation. But in reality, when you look at that, there's 99 things you need to do before you do the foundation. One of the most important is, do you own the land? And then there's the permitting and there's drawing of the plans and it's, it's hiring contractors. I mean, there's all this other work that has to go into it before you actually start digging that foundation. And I've realized in my own life that if I'm not careful, when I start thinking about, hey, how do I, how do, I do this? If I'm going to do this in my business or in my relationship with my wife or my daughter, where do I start? And if I'm not careful and I make the wrong you know, decision, I start at the, the foundation, right? I start there instead of actually starting where I need to start, I'm not going to get the result I want. Now, for a time period, I might. Things might work out until things don't. Because when you ignore the order of things, eventually, um, you know, staying with the, the analogy of the house, eventually, you know, a building inspector is going to show up or the landowner is going to show up or somebody's going to have something to say about me building a house on land that I don't own. So I want you to think about this in your own life. Um, what about your health? Where are you starting with your health if you have issues? If you have things going on, I've, I've talked about this before, I've had neck surgery. I've had my C5, 6, and 7 uh, replaced. i um, got a plate and several screws in there. Well, um, it hurts at times. Um, sometimes it's worse than others. Um, but I know if I don't do my exercises, if I don't do my stretching, if I don't do these things on a daily basis, it's going to hurt. But this is what happens with that. And I think this is like... a, a a cardinal rule amongst people who suffer with pain. When the pain's not there, what do you not do? You don't do the things that helped you, you know, mitigate or control the pain. So when I start feeling good for a few days, you know what I forget to do? Or I don't take the time to do? Stretch. Um, you have this little foam roll ball that I roll on because it's not hurting. So I've got to make sure I keep that in, in order and do it and do it at the right time and do it even when I don't necessarily think I need it. Uh, finances. You know, where are you starting with your finances? Are you just trying to save money? Well, if you're just trying to save money, but you're not controlling your spending, uh, you're going to have a hard time, right? Because if you're not doing the things in the right order, it's going to cause problems. Um, relationships with your spouse or your kids. You know, what do those around us want? Well, let me ask you this. What do you want out of your relationship? And normally, it, it boils down to this. We want quality time, or we want, you know, genuine time or love. We want uh, unconditional love and time. So when we're with someone, we want to, to know that they're paying attention to us. Well, that's what your, your, your spouse wants. That's what your kids want. Um, you know, just being physically present but in mentally absent doesn't count. Actually, let me, let me rephrase that. It does count. It counts against you. Because when I do that, and if you've ever been there before and you see it coming, when the person sitting across you goes, Hey, what did I just say? Oh, and you're caught because you're there but you weren't paying attention. And then kind of wrapping up in this... Um, your relationship with God, my relationship with God, very much like the foundation or like the back pain. You know, when I'm, uh, things are going well, when life is going well and I'm not, you know, stressed or I don't have a challenge going on, I'll be honest, sometimes I, 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 I forget. 
I don't actually forget. I just don't take the time because I don't, you know, I'm not thinking like, oh, I need God's help in my life right now. So I'm not doing things in the right order. So I stop spending as much quality time or prayer time, and then things start to slide in my life. So it does matter. It immensely matters that we do things in the right order. And when you look at the Bible, when you look at scriptures, it's uh, orders throughout. Uh, from the beginning of Genesis 1, you know, had God created um, animals and plants and water and, and all of that before he created the earth, that would have been bad, right? So God created things in the right order. Uh, the birth, um, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ had to be done in a specific order to, you know, for the prophecies that were given and then for the fulfillment of us being able to accept Jesus as our personal Savior. And then 1 Corinthians 14.40 talks about doing things in the right order. Paul's writing to the, the, the church at Corinth and saying, look, you're not doing things in the right order. You're not worshiping God in the right way. You're not controlling your pride. You're not doing the things the way that God has commanded you to do. And that's what happens in our lives. When we don't do things according to the way God wants us to do, when we're not forgiving and we're not loving and we're not controlling our, our pride or being humble, and when we're not seeking to serve Him or to be Christ-like would be the, the whole wrap there. When we're not trying to be Christ-like, we're, we're not having the fruits of the Spirit. We're not doing things in the right order, which means we're not going to get out of life what we're trying to get. We might get moments of it. We might get seasons of it. We might be able to maintain that joy or that happiness for a time period until we can't, until things get outside of our ability to get our arms around them. So let me encourage you, you know, when, you, when you're thinking about and you're considering where to start and what order to do things in, um, my failures in my life, my failures that I read about in, in scriptures, the life of David and, and others, is when we made a choice. I can go back to most of my failures in my life. I can't tell you the exact date because I'm, I'm not good at, at, at dates and years and that, but I can tell you a time when I did it my way versus doing it God's way. I did it in my order, what was best for me at the moment, or what got me out of the pain, or what got me out of the situation. And when I did, it worked for a while until it didn't. So if you find yourself in that situation, this is what's best to do. Stop. You know, just put the brake on, figure out where you are, figure out what God wants you to do, figure out the order that God wants you to do it in, what's His Word say, and then start doing it in that order. It, it's going to feel uncomfortable at first. It's not going to feel natural because you're, you're having to put yourself to the side. As Jesus said, you can't serve two masters, so you can't serve your own interest and God's interest. You've got to serve God's interest. And I've, I've not perfected this. Uh, if, if Please don't think that because I still struggle with these things every day. But I know and I've experienced it. When I do things God's way, when I do them in the order that He wants, I get the results uh, that He wants for me. I get that peace. Even when things aren't going my way, I get that joy. I can see the contentment in what's going on. So I encourage you that. You know, look at the overall, the bigger picture. Look at making the decision to do things in the way that God has asked you to do them and then see the results that you'll get in your life because if we do things in that order, in that manner, then God is able to fulfill, God's able to bless us the way He's promised us. If you want to learn more about this ministry, if you want to learn more about this podcast and how you can um, you know, use these materials to help you in your life, you can visit handlinglife.org.